Hey guys, it's J5 the 518 here back with anime chat with J5 the 518. Hello again, as usual. Hello. Anyway, remember I'm gonna do this intro before we get into our topic tonight. Remember character analysis or character origins, whatever the fuck I did last time? Yeah. Um I did a so called character analysis. What is the character personality, the way they were, and how I thought of them as a character. And now I feel like I should go back to this one by doing a faithful funny anime character that people love and I kind of like too because of his funny personality and his sense of humor. You know, he's a little ruffian. He has a good heart. Of course, talking about Shippo from the anime series Inuyasha. For those who don't know who Shippo is, I'll give you the backstory. Shippo is a fox demon who was raised, who was raised by his loving parents, part of the fox clan, Raised by his father and his mother. Shibo's father, who was killed by one of his parents, who were killed by the Thunder Brothers, and all that. Shibo's father raised him to be a tough man, the same thing as his mother nurtured him. So it makes sense to have, have a backstory. His parents were killed by the Thunder, Thunder Brothers, who took away their goods and all their, their, their weaponry. Uh, Shibo was an orphaned young fox, and his, na and his name means the Seven Treasures. He was orphaned from a very young age, actually, and who wanted a revenge from his dad's blood. He wanted revenge from his parents and especially his father's death from Thunder Brothers. When he came across him, um, as he came up from Kagome, Igodashi, and Inuyasha, strolling into the village, he first tried to attack uh, Kagome, thinking she was worked with the Thunder Brothers. But with Inuyasha putting him in his place at first, this little ruffian villain became a hero. Kind of similar how Hawkeye became part of the Avengers somewhat. You know, a class thief trying to steal riches, fights off one of the Avengers and becomes a hero. Same as Shippo. He's more of a comedic person, being a small little guy, as he is, a cute little guy. Uh, Shippo decided to join them after hearing that after Inuyasha and Gome discovered his origin, they thought they needed a companion, so he joins. The way Shippo, for those of you wondering, what does this guy look like, J5? What does he fucking look like? I am blind as shit. All right. Shippo is depicted as a young guy, a young boy with fox features, you know, feet, ears. Okay, feet, ears, little tail. Um, he's a little ninja. He can use uh, fox magic. He can shapeshift into anything or anyone. He makes use of ninja toys. He makes use of, you know, pink turned into a balloon or a mushroom. Um... He can create duplicates of himself. Even though he's kind of a, he's, he, like I said, he's kind of a naive little sidekick. But you know what? He has his moments to shine. He is seven years old in the series. Ten years later, he's ten, three years during the series. He's a kitsune. And kitsune, actually, if you don't want to know, if you want to know what those mean, uh, kitsune are actually, if I'm correct, they're fox demons that live amongst humans. Based on Japanese mythology, Kitsune means the Japanese word for fox, and abilities as fire conjuring, size manipulation, shape shifting, which allows them to take on the appearance of anyone. In Japanese folklore, they've, they're known to live forever, live for a long time, have above the human intelligence, and some natural powers. So basically, you know, Shippo fits that kind of Japanese mythology. Um, he's a male. As you all know, he's a male. I know by a, by a ponytail, you guys think he's a girl, I know he's a guy. He's about 4 kilograms, 9 pounds, green eyes, auburn hair. He debuted in the manga in Chapter 28, but in the anime, he debuted in Episode 9. And his movie debut was Affections Touching Across Time, which was his first big movie appearance. Even though he's short, he's very observant in knowing what's going on. Even though he makes money in Yasha, he always had to knock some sense to the little guy. But he's always there, not just for the laughs, but there to be a hero. When his friends are harmed, this little guy knows this. This young fox knows how to turn his dude to stop joking around and kick some ass. Even though he's short, he rides on Kirara, who's Sango's cat, which is kind of cute. Also, he's also trying to be kind of like Naruto in a sense that he wants to be a full-fledged fox demon. Not in the sense that he's he's not like Naruto, where Naruto's annoying as hell and always saying he wants to become Okage, which he tries super hard for. Shibo actually tries his best to even try to outrank some of the bigger guys. And even though he sometimes fails, he always comes back and wins the day. 
Shibo always wears, you know, a ninja suit, as you know, like a red, like a turquoise shirt and ninja pants. Like I said, he doesn't wear shoes. He has fox feet, so he's able to go a little spryly and fast. Even though he has a pure and strong spirit, he's never done evil. He always knows when his friends are important. As a child, as you all know, he can be very sensitive. When things get too stressed for him, he usually cries or gets a little... Like all kids do. They get they, they, Their feelings come out. He was in love with Satsuki, who he separated from since he was, he was... He put her in danger all the time when they were together. So I can understand why he broke up with her. So it's kind of sad, really. Does he have any firebombs and magic? Is there anything more he can do? Yes. This little guy, is, he may be the weakest of the group, but he has a sense of courage that allows him to pull through and defeat the bad guys. Even though under his ninja garb, he has a few forms of tricks and powers up his sleeve that can really turn a tide in a fight. He can turn into a snake as an illusion and attack enemies. Even though he's also a fox, he has enhanced biting. He has vital points. He has a deadly weapon. At a point in one episode, he does an attack called the Heart Scar, which is presented when Sheeple's heart gets broken over a girl. Other thing is biting. He is mouth and bloody girls red, and apparently has a burning effect. So if you get bitten, you're gonna feel it. Another ones are fire bombs. Fire bombs, you know, fire bombs, you know, little grenades, little ninja grenades, and they blow up. The signals, you know, throwing magical weeping mushrooms or spinning acorns as a way of the distraction. He can create a double game of himself to trick people. Foxfire. He can use Foxfire, which is enchanted flame. He can use to neutralize an opponent or paralyze them. Which actually does sound kind of pretty cool. He can fly on leaves, which I think is pretty funny. It's kind of like kind of like Super Mario, but in Super Mario Bros. 2. Um, he can transform into any animal, or like he has, he can shapeshift. He can turn a horse into a toy horse, which is interesting. Even though Shippo doesn't have much of a family anymore, he does find the friends his family. He has become friendly with, you know, Sango and Kagome, as being the females in the group. Even though he has learned some stuff from Yoku, being a perverted set, perverted monk as he is. But he's just a naive, curious kid that learns things. J5. Why should I like Shippo? I thought you hated him. At first, yeah. I kind of hated the character of us being this old sidekick. Oh, he's a sidekick. Oh, I should hate him. Dog. Dog. No. I don't even actually hate the character. I actually think he's one of the funniest parts of the show. Then being the old man. Never the old man, anyway. But anyway, I think he's one of the funniest because, you know, he's your kid character. But like kid characters, I think he's pretty funny. He's funny because... He says the jokes when it's unlikely, and then when he does stupid, dumb shit. When he's a balloon, that's just like the most random, funny thing to me sometimes. It's just like, wait, you're a fox. We turn into a big blimp with boogie eyes. In that weird sense of the way. He's a tough kid with a heart of gold, but when he's there to help Team Inuyasha, he's there with a powerful spirit and a warrior's code. Don't mess with the fox. And don't ask me, how does the fox say? Because that's too old and it's stupid. Anyway, this is J5 signing off. See you later.